God helped reveal that my wife cheated on me 14 years ago, so I confronted her and it ended up with her in the ER, now she's begging me to not throw her away but I don't think I can trust her anymore. I, 35M, have been married to my wife, 37F, for 11 years and together for 14. We have a beautiful 7-year-old daughter, and our marriage has been great without any major problems until last year. Last year, I learned that my wife cheated on me before our marriage. One of her friends became religious and confessed her actions to me, which led me to confront my wife. She was shocked that I learned about it and apologized profusely for her actions. However, she said it's not something important now because we have been going strong and have a family together. She told me I should come to terms with it since it happened four months into being exclusive, and she was a stupid girl out of college back then. My mind told me the same, that it happened 14 years ago, and we are happy right now. I decided to forgive her and continue our usual life. However, reality was not that great, and my mental state took a big hit. I realized it's not something that happened 14 years ago for me. The cheating happened for me when my wife confirmed it, and I stopped feeling any attraction for her. I was less confident in bed and could not get it up for my wife. This turned into feeling disgusted being around her. I even took a DNA and STD test secretly. Thankfully, our daughter is mine, and I am clear of STDs. Then a year of intense individual therapy started for me, because I realized I needed to change somehow. I was not the same person I used to be. I also communicated my feelings to my wife, and after pushing a bit, we started going to couples counseling too. However, at the end of everything, I decided to proceed with divorce. Here are my reasons, she not only cheated back then but lied to me for 14 years. She did not confess the action herself. And even though she apologized, she dismissed the fact by saying it's not important anymore. Younger me was robbed of having a choice. Cheating was, and still is one of the biggest deal breakers for me. If I had known back then, I would have broken it off. I am happy with my life, and I am glad that our daughter came into the world. She is the light that shines the brightest for me, one of the biggest reasons I keep living, but I still was robbed of a choice back then. Individual counseling and marriage counseling could not resolve our problems and my feelings toward her. It also started affecting family life, which could impact our daughter. I think our daughter would be better off with us as co-parents instead of living in a broken family environment where consistent arguments are present. My bedroom drive is basically non-existent. We do still get it done, but I feel like those women in films who just lay and look at the ceiling, waiting for it to be over, except the only difference is that I am a man. I do not even want non-intimate gestures anymore. Last week, I had a sit down with my wife and explained everything I wrote here in detail, my feelings, reasons, and some other private things. I have been talking to a lawyer for the last month, and papers are almost finalized. It's 50-50 custody, 50-50 asset sharing, and as amicable as possible. I explained everything thoroughly and clearly to her. She freaked out and had a panic attack, and we spent the night at the ER. She is begging me to reconsider and not throw away 14 years. However, even though I would like to stay, it will result in us being roommates and creating a broken family environment for our daughter. Am I in the wrong here? Update 1. Firstly, I want to thank everyone for their ideas and input about my situation. Some people reached out to me on Reddit chat to state their opinions, and we had long talks. They have been incredibly helpful, and I want to thank them especially. Some people asked if we went to counseling together. Yes, we have been visiting a counselor for over a year now, on top of my individual therapy. I understand that blowing up a marriage for something that happened 14 years ago is not logical. However, my feelings towards my wife got even worse after counseling and therapy. It started with not being able to trust her, which evolved into not wanting to smash, then not wanting non-intimate gestures, and finally, I am not even comfortable being in the same space as her. We have been less than roommates in the last couple of months. I do not hate or resent her, but I just cannot shake off the feelings. I would say I forgave her, but it's not about forgiving anymore when there are no feelings and love. I do not want my daughter to grow up in such an environment. I know how hurtful it can be. I experienced a similar situation with my parents, only the genders were reversed. Living in such an environment breaks you as a child and a teen. I would have much preferred if my mother had just divorced my dad instead of staying for my sake. That being said, I had a long talk with my wife this morning. She has not been eating much since visiting the ER, and I am concerned for her well-being and safety. Some Redditors who reached out suggested considering separation before proceeding with the divorce to see if my feelings would change, and that is very logical, actually. I proposed this idea to my wife, and she was happy to hear it. I have an upcoming business trip to the Netherlands next week, and I am planning to extend my stay and stay with my sister once I am back. My wife abruptly suggested a one-sided open marriage, and I can do what I want on that business trip if it will save the relationship, make us even, and change my feelings. I rejected it because it has nothing to do with that. Even if it changed something for me, it would devastate her to know I cheated on her in the future. It's not something easy to get over and not an easy decision. So that is all for now, we'll try separation for a while, and depending on the result, I'll make my decision. Thank you for all the help and opinions.